Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought I would teach my fellow dry skin betches how to fake the juiciest skin. I am just like riddled with anxiety every Sunday, so I thought why not just make ourselves feel better, look better, and just give ourselves some juicy, juicy skin. So before we hop into the video, make sure that you subscribe and click the bell next to it. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. And with that being said, let's just go ahead and hop right into the video. I wash my face using my Mario Desku Enzyme Cleansing Gel. If you have dry skin, I highly recommend it. It's creamy, light on the skin, and doesn't strip my skin of all of its oils. So that is where I'm at. If you watched my hydration video, which was a really good video, I will link it up here as well as down below. You will know that I always start my skincare routine or my moisturizing routine with damp skin. So I washed my face quite a few minutes ago because I washed it. I came in here, I set up my um, filming things with the lights and whatnot. So it's been a few minutes since I washed my face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this Avene Thermal Spring Water, how appropriate for our spring inspired video. I'm just gonna take this, you can take any kind of setting spray that is hydrating. Um, if you watch my channel and you've purchased the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, you can use that. Not gonna lie, if you have a spray bottle that's clean with nothing in it, you can always throw water in it. I have a spray bottle in my bathroom that I spray my body with when I don't put on lotion right away because I get distracted. So just dampen your face. Just to bring back the dampness. Oh, it feels so good though. This is very expensive. I think it's like $9 for this little ass bottle. 1.6 full ounces. Morphe Continuous Setting Spray is where it's at. I love it, so, so good and way more affordable. So I'm just gonna give that a second to not dry down, but just not be as wet. The key to juicy skin is hydration. So that's moisturizer, that's drinking tons of water, all that kind of fun stuff. And I also think that it's skincare. When you think of like bright, dewy skin, if you know anything about skincare, my mind personally goes straight to vitamin C. I've been using this vitamin C serum for a couple weeks now and I'm really, really, really enjoying it. Sometimes vitamin C is too heavy on my skin. It does too much and it irritates my skin, but this one's really nice and I have really enjoyed every product that I've tried from this brand. This is the Gold Faden MD Bright Elixir. It protects and repairs brightening serum. Is my cat coming in here? Collagen and brightening boosting with vitamin C coupled with vitamin B, E, and ferulic acid. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this. Now that my skin is a little damp, I'm gonna take about two pumps, rub it between my fingers and press this into my skin. And I like to press it because I find that it gives your skin a little bit more time to absorb it. And I kind of like slap myself a little bit because I like that kind of stuff. I don't know, I just have a good time. We gotta enjoy every moment of life. And so I try to make my skincare routine enjoyable. This is a little sticky, okay? I'm not gonna lie. I don't really like a sticky serum. However, my skin looks a lot brighter. It looks a lot more even now that I've been using this, so I will let it slide. And also, I put moisturizer over it pretty quickly, so it doesn't stay too sticky for too long. Also, coffee. Because not only do we need to awaken the skin, but we need to awaken ourselves, our eyes, and just like our being. I drink six cups of coffee a day, minimum usually at six but sometimes in like mike and i'll go to duncan or like i'll go to starbucks so i drink a lot of coffee do you drink a lot of coffee let me know down below in the comments how much coffee do you drink because i told my coworkers the other day that i drink six cups of coffee and they all looked at me like i had 18 heads they're also tea drinkers though, which no shame on a tea drinker. I love me a cup of tea, but I'm definitely more of a tea drinker at night before I go to bed to like calm my nerves. I can't rely on a cup of tea to get me going through the day. Like I'm just a tired, tired soul. I have really been enjoying this sunscreen, which is shocking to me. Exuviance Daily Corrector with sunscreen. It has SPF 35. I always wear sunscreen no matter what. And if you're going to use vitamin C, you should always use a sunscreen because vitamin C gets weakened by the sun and it can also cause issues with your skin. So just always, always wear a sunscreen. In, in my humble opinion, I think that you need sunscreen. This is for oily, acne prone skin. I have very dry skin. I don't find this to be very drying. I do find it to be a really nice primer it kind of gives that like primey feeling to the skin so i've been really enjoying this underneath my makeup but on days where i'm not wearing makeup i'm still on my maraud perfecting day cream oh my god it's so good and it makes the skin look so juicy but underneath makeup i've really 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 been enjoying this so i take two pumps and now i'm just gonna put this through all the skin and then obviously i take it down the neck now my skin looks really red i have very sensitive skin also but you know it's gonna tone down 
once I stop touching my face. I just like cannot get enough of this product. It's so, so nice. It leaves the skin looking really juicy, hydrated, and just like naturally delicious. This is the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint and I'm in the shade Light 3. So I'm just gonna throw this on my skin and I'm gonna put like, not a lot, but like a decent amount. Aricelli sponge, guys, this is like the best beauty sponge ever. And I'm just gonna blend this throughout my face. If I go in and pick this product up with the sponge off the back of my hand, the sponge like eats it. Whereas if I start it on my skin, I get a little bit more coverage and I use less product because it's definitely more spreadable since the sponge isn't eating it. So it's a really light coverage. It looks like my skin. You can still see my zit. I mean, I'm still red, but I'm not nearly as red as I was. I love this concealer. When I first started my channel, I absolutely hated it. I'm pretty sure my channel is four years old now. I just feel like I've gotten better at makeup. So I have a better understanding of how to make things work for me. So I'm just gonna put this where I need it, where I have some redness, where I just want a little bit of extra coverage. And you might be watching this video thinking like I've seen her do this makeup tutorial 30,000 times. I always get like so many questions about is just like, how do you get naturally dewy skin when you claim to be so dry? Like people don't believe me how dry my skin is because they see, you know, the end result of what my makeup looks like. Just follow my tips and tricks. I'm gonna teach you how to be dewy when you're not dewy, you know? I'm all about fake it till you make it, honey. Like, you're not gonna know 100% of something ever. You just gotta fake it till you make it, you know? Merit, this is their perfecting stick in the shade Dune. This is the lighter of the two shades that I have. I'm gonna pick it up with my finger and I'm just gonna put it along the darkest section of my under eyes. I kind of just use this as a perfecting stick, which haha, that's the name of it. So very fitting. Um, but I like to focus this in the inner corner of my eye. Can you see the very subtle difference between this eye and this eye? This eye just looks a little bit more perfected. Not perfect though. We are not trying to be perfect, okay? And I basically just pick this up with my finger and throw this where I have redness just to cancel out the redness blush from Merit. This is in the shade Terracotta. However, I've been using this as a bronzer. So the Yensa Dome brush. I love this brush so, so much. And then I just pat this into the skin to give a little bit. See what that did really quickly? It's really, really natural looking and it just gives a little bit of radiance, a little bit of bronze. So I'll do this side of my face so you can see the very subtle but effective difference. This doesn't work as well um, swiping it on the face. It's easier to blend when applying it straight with a brush. How yummy that is. And like this side looks yummy too, but there's no definition. This looks more alive and hydrated and just like healthier. Don't swipe it because if you swipe it, you're gonna move the Beauty Blender skin tint that we've already applied. And what's beautiful about this though is that it is pigmented, but it's hard to put a lot of it on. Like you can just gradually build up the color or pigmentation of this, which is nice. And it's kind of like foolproof. You know, I think that Merit is a really nice clean beauty brand that is good for beginners. A little bit, and I'm gonna pat it over the bump of my nose just to bring the bump back a bit, just like that. Another Merit blush, this is in the shade Beverly Hills, and I'm going to actually use this as a blush. Same application technique, picking it up with the brush, and I'm just gonna stamp that pretty much like over where I just put the bronzer. And can you see how beautiful that is? Just like, ooh, we look flushed, we look alive. I like to take a little bit and put it on my brow bone and just like marry the two together. See, we just look flushed and we look juicy and delicious. And then I'm gonna start to bring it into the nose. I'm gonna do a W just like right over it like that. See a W like this just because it gives like a really sun-kissed look. And then I'm gonna throw a little bit more back here. I put a lot of blush on and you're probably thinking like, whoa, clown. However, cream products fade quicker than powder products. And I'm not gonna set this with a powder just because I want to continue to keep the radiance throughout the day. So I add a little bit more just so that it lasts a little bit longer. I'm gonna mix the NARS with the Beauty Blender skin tint that's left over on the back of my hand. Pick this up with my damp beauty sponge and I'm just gonna use this to clean up areas of my face where I don't want that blush to be. So I'll show you on this side first. Kind of just like breaking up the makeup a bit. 
Now, can you see how that's a little bit more concentrated in this section of my face, whereas this side, it comes down a little bit further. You're like lifting the blush up, which is gonna lift your entire face up. So you can see on this side, it's kind of like pulling my face down. Like when you look at my face, you kind of go right here, which looking at the lower half of my face pulls your face down. Whereas this side, when you look at my face, you're looking here, which lifts my face up. And then if you feel like there's too stark of a line, from where you cleaned up, pat it, but make sure to keep it a little higher. Like just be a little bit more specific with where you're putting it to just help blend it all together and make it look a little bit more natural. And I'm not going in with any more product. I'm just using what's ever left on the brush. And see how we just lifted that whole thing up a bit. And I'm gonna throw a little bit here. A brow gel, I want this to be quick. I want this to be simple. It's spring or summer, whenever it is you're watching this, whenever it is you wanna do this makeup look. So we wanna be in and out. And again, we really want the overall look to be natural. And I know a lot of you like a natural brow. You've made it very clear that you don't like the way I fill my brows in. And so I'm accommodating you today by showing you what my brows look like when they're natural, just like a little bit perfected. Creamy highlight, this one is by Merit. I also really like the Ciati Dewy Sticks in Day Glow, Dew Glow, I don't know. I will put both of these down below. I'm just gonna pat this on the cheekbone, just like this. And then I'm gonna put some underneath the brow. And can you see, oh, it's so, it's so, so good. Look at this, okay? And then this side is really dewy too. But can you see, like, just, this is, like, do amplified, and this is just pretty do, too. You know, I don't know. I just feel like this gives a really nice, subtle difference, and this will help to make the do last throughout the day. I also like to put a bit, like, right in here, in the inner corner, just to make the eyes look more awake. Put some on the cupid's bow. And then my chin is dry, so I like to put a little bit of this to just fake that I'm not dry. You see what that just did in between the brows because my brows are closer together. I like them that way, but I don't wanna look like I have a unibrow. And then I put a little bit here because my nose sits further back there because of my bump. So just like, ooh, ooh, it's so good. We're only gonna powder where we need it. You can totally not powder anything. However, I just find that like my mascara migrates underneath my eyes, things move. So I do want this makeup to last for the hours that I am gonna wear it. So I'm gonna take this concealer brush, which I did not use, but it's just like a really good shape to really get in there and just blend any of the creases that have formed underneath my eye. Take a translucent powder. You don't want anything has any kind of color in it, okay? You're gonna put it in the pan or the, the lid. This is Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. This is my favorite setting powder. And the secret though, is that you need a puff because what a puff is gonna do is it's gonna press the powder into the skin and kind of just make it the most natural looking. By brushing powder over your skin, it kind of doesn't sink into the skin. It sits on top of the skin and it makes it look more textured. It doesn't look so much as skin. And the whole point of this tutorial is to look as natural as possible. So I'm just gonna go in one more time, take that translucent powder and I'm just patting this where I absolutely need it. So I'm putting it underneath my eyes, just right there. See how that kind of added a little bit more coverage, a little bit more brightness underneath my eye, took away any of the dew, okay? I don't like a dewy under eye. I'm not really sure how you feel. If you like a dewy under eye, like that's cool. And on the other side, more of that powder. You can always push it in like this. I'm just gonna put this around my nose. I'm gonna put it over the bump to take away the shine from the bump to help bring it back. But I just wanna show you something. I'm not gonna do my chin though because I did place that highlighter there, but I'm kind of just like doing the center of my face. Can you see how this side of my face is like dewy, okay? I personally don't like it when it's dewy in here. I find this to be more youthful where it's like more radiant without the dew. So I like to take this away. So I'm gonna take it away like I did with the other side. Just picking up a little bit of powder, doing that right here. I'm just gonna put it in the center of my forehead. Okay, but look, I'm still gleaming. So using a puff and only using an absolute minimum amount of powder 
that you need is the way that you can go ahead and set your face without taking away all of the shine. This is the best kept secret. This is from Tati Beauty. Tati Beauty no longer exists, but like when you go and you buy um, Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, sometimes they'll give you a little puff. Like there are other puffs in the market. I just feel like Merit should sponsor this video because we just have a lot of Merit things going on. Their lengthening mascara is so nice. I really love it. This is like the best clean formula mascara I have ever, ever, ever tried. Separates them and elongates them at the tips. I'll show you guys. Can you see the difference between this eye and this eye? Like look at how it looks like I have so many more lashes towards the root just because again, I packed a lot of the pigmentation towards the root by doing this motion as I apply the mascara. I'm gonna put a little bit on the outer third of them. Charlotte Tilbury Walk of No Shame. This is a mini one. I absolutely love it. Super, super cute. And you look at this and you're like, wow, this is a really dark shade, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pat this all over my lips, blend it out with my finger, and then I'm gonna throw a really hydrating, tinted, Bomb. Can you just see like how pretty that is? This is literally how you make any lip spring time, summertime appropriate lip. Just dab it on with your finger, like just blend it with your finger and it's gonna make it look so much lighter and it kind of gives like an easy lip stain look and then oof, girl. I am so obsessed with this. This is the Glow Recipe Lip Pop in Watermelon. Mm, watch this. Can you just see how it like elevated the original color to be like three shades lighter. This is the finished makeup look. Let me know down below in the comments. Would you rock a makeup look like this? What do you think about it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Like, would you like your skin to be this juicy looking? Are you more of like a matte, kind of babe like oh i love this i live for this the only thing i don't like about this is when i do my hair and then it sticks to my face throughout the day i just washed my hair yesterday i hate washing my hair so the longer i can get my hair to not be greasy the better but i just this is the kind of makeup look that i rock all spring all summer do you have any of your own juicy makeup dewy skin tips i personally would love to hear them i'm sure other viewers would love to hear them as well so do be sure to leave them down below in the comments if you enjoy natural quick makeup routines like this do be sure to give this video a big thumbs up this way i know you like it and i can upload more like it as well. Make sure that you subscribe and click that bell before you leave. I had a wonderful time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.